By no means do I claim to be an expert on beta.sam.gov. However, I do know that we've all been having challenges. Hell, GSA has been having challenges. And, um, you know, I have learned some things over the last few days. Um, I've received several calls, emails, people ask me about beta.sam.gov. It's nothing like FBO.gov. Um, as we know, they basically ousted FBO a few days ago, changed over. They gave us a warning, but um, if you played with it, it's not the same thing. And so now, you know, lots of people are out there stuck searching, looking for opportunities, and they're having a really difficult time. So let's talk about it. We're going to jump in. And if you've already done uh, login.gov, you've got your SAM profile, login.gov, they implemented that, I don't know, maybe eight months ago. So most of you, I'm sure, are pretty familiar with login.gov system. And you probably already have a login.gov account. So again, we're at beta.sam.gov. And one thing I'll tell you right off the bat, here it is, login.gov. Gives you some information about it. Click sign in. Now, if you do not click remember this browser, it's going to keep asking for your code. Or, in some cases, I've noticed if you if you had it and you didn't set up like the, the second authentication, it will do the same thing. Because when I use another account, it doesn't ask me for the security code. So I put my security code in. They sent it to my phone. Now I'm logged in. So again, like I said, when you are first create your account, um, it will ask you for a second authentication. So first, the first will will be your cell phone number, send your password, you put it in. Then it'll come to another screen and it'll ask you for a second uh, level of authentication. And what I did was I just used uh, one of my, you know, another cell phone number that I had for the actual business. So again, you can use, I would say, a friend's cell phone number or someone else's cell phone number as your second level authentication because the other stuff that they had on that screen was really really confusing but uh, I'm not gonna we're not gonna even gonna pull that up uh, not in this particular episode just because most people I think have gotten past that and figured it out what I what I see um, or what I've heard so far the challenges are Eric how do I get back to my saved searches and that seems to be the issue primarily now when you get to beta.sam.gov and I'm going to do something really quick before hold on let me go over here I have to go back and let me before I show this to you guys I want to go back and change this to how you will see it on your screen so what I'm doing is uh, when you first come on to the screen I've already set mine up Oh, okay, so it, it's not set up. So let me go here. Let me switch back over and show you guys what I'm doing over here. All right, when you first get back on, let me go back real quick. So when we first get back on, you'll see all these different op options. And really, contract opportunities is essentially the same thing as FedBizOps. They call it contract opportunities now. Um, you can type in a keyword or whatever you want, but I just normally just click search. And once I click search, it essentially opens up all of the results that are in FedBizOps or the or the formerly known as FedBizOps. So it gives you 97,000 plus results. What most people are interested in is, okay, when I scroll down, you've got here on the left-hand side are the categories by which you use to search. And they've got all these really weird dates. Then they have on here, you could search federal organizations, type of notices, uh, unique entity ID, which replaces the Dunn's number system. Uh, I guess Dunn and Bradsheet probably messed up their contract. And then you come down, it says place of performance location, which is zip code. And I don't know about you, but I mean, um, I know on the previous system, you could type in your zip code, or you could type in like the, the first two digits and then like an asterisk, and then that will take in and cover like a wide range of states. Or, you know, but I tried all that and I couldn't get that to work. So what happens is, for me, on my previous saved searches, I was always looking by state, and I noticed that they didn't have that option. But what you have to do is one extra step. All right? So you have to come in here, up to the top, where it says Change Filters, and you've got to click this button, Change Filters, scroll down, and you'll see Place of Performance State. You have to choose the state, 
and I personally take off location because it doesn't benefit me for a single zip code, and then I update it. It almost, well, not almost, it definitely should be defaulted to state, and then zip code should be optional is my thinking, but again, I didn't design the software. So now you have on your place performance state. Let's type in, I'm going to choose, let's type in Alaska. Type in Alaska, and the good thing is that once you click Alaska, it you don't have to hit save or anything else. I I learned that the hard way as well. Once you choose that state, then it already automatically sorts those results based on that state. So now you're looking at 515 results. So again, um, at the very least, we were able to create a search based on the results of a state, and for a lot of us. Um, that's pretty good. Now, what I did for myself personally is I go in and now I want to look at doo -doo 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 -doo, my next code, which is doo -doo -doo, construction. So I click 23. That sorts it. Now let's go like up. So now it went down to another four results. So now I've got my state Alaska and I've got construction 23 is my code. And then the type of opportunities I'm interested in. Sorry, type of notices here. All right, so I'm interested in source of sought. I'm interested in pre solicitation. I'm interested in solicitations and combined synopsis solicitations. So, again, source of sought for all of those people who have a social economic category, women owned, hub zone, service disabled. Uh, you would respond to a source of sought notice with your letter of interest in hopes that uh, other people respond as well and you could potentially get that job set aside. Pre-solicitation gives you advance notice of the opportunity that's coming out. Uh, then a solicitation and combined synopsis solicitation or solicitation are self-explanatory. So now, like I said, it's already sorted my whole results based on those categories and as you can see, I'm down to 141 results. Now, what I do from here is I click save search and you can type in Alaska 23 and click save. And now what it did was it saved all the construction projects that fall into one of those four categories. It saves them under Alaska 23. So you have 141 results. Now, continuing on, the thing that I have not figured out is the inactive date, the published date, the updated date. So those things I'm still kind of working through right now. But because it does sort um, by the, right here it says it sorts by the last updated date, after about the first two pages, all the results are old anyway. So at least what I found in my particular area. So for me, this is good enough until I get fully comprehend this or until they uh, improve the system. So for me personally, this is good enough. Now what we're gonna do is, of course most of us like to look in a couple of states so let's go in and let's do Georgia. So now I changed, only thing I changed was the state itself. So I changed Georgia, Tybee Island, and it was in Georgia, it's near Savannah. So now it changes my results. So again, all of the other things, my criteria I was searching for, source of sub, pre-solicitation, solicitation, all that stuff remains saved, construction remains saved, and now it changed it to Georgia. Now. What you want to do at this point is you don't want to click save search again. I made that mistake. You need to go to click more, save as new, and now you can do Georgia 23 and click save. And then you'll have the results for Georgia. And then let's choose another state just for kicks. Tennessee. We choose Tennessee. Dun, dun, dun. 64 results, so now that's Tennessee. Click here, click more, save as new, change it to Tennessee 23, click save, and there you have it. If we wanna check what we have, we can click over here on the left-hand side, save searches, and on save searches, you'll see Tennessee 23, the date last save, which is today's date, you'll see the max code 23, and then the type of notices that you're looking for, and obviously active notices. You'll see Georgia and you'll see Alaska. And you could easily click on either one of these and it immediately pulls up the results. And that gives you results. 
what I haven't figured out or what I haven't seen thus far is the feature where it allows you to set uh, periodic uh, emails that go out as the new results come in. So I haven't seen that feature. I don't even know if it exists. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. So, But at the very least, for most of you, I believe this will help you and enable you to start searching again. Um, I know that this was a big deal for me because now I can log back into the system, click search, and go from there. Another thing that's really cool is essentially um, before where we used to monitor it, it's this little button up here called follow. So if you click follow, then you'll see it allow you to follow that particular opportunity. Again, um, how it sends it to you, how it emails it to you, uh, I haven't seen that yet, but that's how they allow you to, what before we called it watch an opportunity, that's how they allow you to watch an opportunity is by choosing the button follow. Everything else, once you click in, the downloads, the attachments, all that stuff is here. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, all other stuff is, n I mean, it's not, it doesn't look the same, but all the information is there. Uh, so these are the major things that I saw that were different um, from FedBizOps to this particular new beta.sam.gov. So again, just want to share this with everybody out there and let them know because I know um, that this has been a pain in the butt for me. Um, and it's probably a pain in the butt for you guys as well. I might get my face brighter. Yeah. All right. So I just want to share that. Hey, happy Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Hopes this helps some people out there. And again, as I learn more, I will share more. All right. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.